Angela asked, how old were you when you first stepped onto the ice? Um, well, I guess being from Canada, they say that you, uh, you're you born with skates on, so I guess I was born with skates on. Um, I was close to about three or four. Three, next. Tony asked, could you survive a zombie apocalypse? No, I would be one of the zombies. Um, I'd have to bring in Mike Switzer because um, he's just my main guy to go to. And I think we own a lot of guns, so we'd be perfectly fine. But, I mean, yeah. Of course I could because of my survival instincts and um, my nunchuck skills. Jessica asked, how many teeth are you missing? Uh, none, but I had one chipped in half like Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber. I am missing four. And they're all in right now, but yeah. Zero. At Free the Snake asks, what's the craziest fan experience you've ever had? Um, I guess in college there was uh, like blown up heads of a lot of the players on our team, which looked pretty funny on the opposing team. We were at B. Merrill's once and a fan pooped his pants in the bathroom. <laughs> April asks, what town do you look forward to playing in and why? Uh, I guess maybe Fayetteville because that's the only place I've been other than Columbus here. Um, I'd probably say Huntsville. Um, they pack the house every night. Um, it's fun there. Always a guaranteed fight. So it's fun. Uh, throughout my career or just this year? In the SPHL. I like going to Biloxi because the casino experience. And lastly, what's your go-to goal celebration and can you demonstrate it? Yeah, I usually go down to two knees. Yes. You're gonna Usually, like, I, want, I need Mike Switzer here because he always gives me assists. So, I mean, pretty much, like, take my gloves, take one off, give Mike a high five, and then we go to the bench and sit there for about 15 minutes. Uh, just the no celebration celebration. Can you show me? <laughs> Back by popular demand, we have uh, Matt Ginger here and uh, myself, Chris Baylor. A few questions for you. Uh, how are you? I'm, I'm super. How, how are you doing? Um, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so Angela, our fan Angela, asked, how old were you when you first stepped onto the ice? Uh, 18 years old. 18 years. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're very good. Thanks. Uh, okay, number two, Tony. Thank you for your question. Could you survive a zombie apocalypse? Why and how? Great question. Uh, I think I would because zombies don't exist, so I don't have anything to worry about. I believe they don't exist either. Jessica, from Jessica, how many teeth are you missing? Uh, my four wisdom teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bat free the snakes. What's the craziest fan experience you've had? Jeez, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Didn't you slash your uh, mom in the head one game in um, junior hockey? Oh yeah, uh, so I was getting spit on my fans and then I took a swing at them with a hockey stick and sure enough my mom was right behind me and I ended up hitting her in the head with a stick. She needed uh, four stitches and then left to go to the Bahamas the very next morning. I didn't feel good about myself. No, that's probably not a good move. Yeah, she didn't cook him a meal for a week. <laughs> Because she was in the Bahamas. Uh, April asked, what town do you look forward to playing in in the SPHL and why? Uh, Pensacola because they're the closest. You hate the bus. I hate that. I despise the bus. All right, yeah. What's your go-to goal celebration and can you demonstrate it? I just like to keep things simple and a little, just a little fist bump. I don't do anything too crazy unless it's a, unless it's a big goal. So what if it's an overtime winner? I don't know, I just go like that. Just standard, two hands the, in the air. Or I go to one knee and do the fist pump too. Okay. Do you ever look at someone in the crowd or on the bench first after a goal? Uh, I look at Boom Boom sometimes just to make sure I did the right thing. Get his approval? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's it today for Snake Bites. Uh, Matt Ginger here with Chris Baylor.